This is a $50 radar detector, and this is a $650 radar detector. And today we're gonna find out which one is actually worth the money. Every year in the United States, 41 million speeding tickets are given out. The worst part is, it's not just the price of the ticket. Your insurance premiums are gonna go up for an average of three years. The total cost of an average ticket, including your insurance premium raises, is $1,200. Quality radars like this one, the Escort Max 360, are expensive. This one will set you back $650 but all it has to do is save you from one ticket and it pays for itself in full. I love this detector because it does a great job at filtering out false alarms. It basically never goes off unless there's actually a cop. It also has directional arrows to let you know exactly where the cop signal is coming from. To see if you actually need to spend a lot of money on a radar detector, I went to AutoZone and picked up this. It was $51, it's called a Whistler Z11. It claims it can filter out false alarms, I'm very skeptical, but we'll find out in today's video. I've also got one of the new kings of the radar scene, the Uniden R7. This one is $425, so somewhere in between, and apparently might have longer range than the Max 360. We'll find out shortly. To test the radar's efficiency, <laughs> To test the effectiveness of each of the radar detectors, I've got this Stalker Police radar gun. First, I'm gonna be testing which detector can detect the signal from the farthest distance. Then we're gonna determine their effectiveness around blind turns. And lastly, we're gonna do a five minute city loop with each of the detectors to see how many times each one has a false alarm. One of the big things with cheap radars is they go off all the time, they're really annoying, and then you turn it off and then it's basically useless. All right. Let's get into it. Officer Sebastian will be helping out with the first blind turn test. Let's do it. For the first test, we're gonna be using the Whistler $50 radar. Now we're not gonna be running all the radar detectors at the same time so they don't interfere with each other. Instead, we're gonna locate the precise distance that the Whistler first picks up the radar gun and then compare it to the other radars. First up, the blind turn test. For extra accuracy, we're gonna be repeating every test two times. Let's see. The radar is way up ahead around the corner. Let's see when that Whistler first detects the signal. Coming up on a blind turn. And there we go. Detecting the signal right there. And I've got plenty of time now to slam on the brakes and go the speed limit before we come around the corner and we see Officer Sebastian. Now we are running the first distance test for the Whistler. We've got a straight shot to the radar detector from here. Let's see how quickly it picks it up. All right, can't see the cop yet, but the radar detector did pick up its signal. So far, the Whistler is doing pretty darn good. And 45 seconds later, we got Officer Sebastian. We're gonna repeat that test again for the Whistler, but so far this $50 radar detector would have saved me from two different tickets if I was speeding in the canyons and that cop was actually there. There we go. Well short of the corner, another success. Coming around the corner and right about at the exact same spot, it recognized the radar signal. Now it's time to test out the Uniden R7, which apparently has the greatest range of any radar detector on the market right now. I'm excited to see if it picks it up well in advance of the $50 radar, or is it the same distance? Let's find out. Wow, that just picked it up a solid quarter mile ahead of the cheap radar. I mean, we are nowhere near where my friend Sebastian is right now. That is impressive. Good job, Uniden. I mean, check this out. Look at how far I'm going before I actually get to where the radar gun is. I could be going 150 back there and then have time to slow down. Showing me with directional arrows. There we go. The cheap radar didn't pick it up till up at the stop sign up there. That is a massive improvement. Test number two for the Uniden R7. There we go. Front KA band. Wow, even quicker this time. That was insane. Now we're moving on to my personal favorite radar that I have in every single one of my vehicles, the Passport Max 360. Max 360 plugged in and ready to go. Nothing yet. The Uniden might have the advantage on distance. This is 
right about where the unit in started picking it up. Still nothing from the passport. And right there. The unit in had by far the best rate. Given the price difference, the unit is $425, whereas the Max 360 is $650. I'm gonna go with the Uniden as the clear victor in the performance test. Now I'm gonna do a five minute city loop. I'm gonna do the exact same loop with all three radar detectors and count how many times there are false alarms or the radar goes off and there is no cop. Let's see which one makes the most noise. Obviously I'm guessing the whistler, but you never know. Five minute false alarm city test starting with the cheap whistler. See how many times this thing goes off. False alarm. Second false alarm going off. This thing has basically constantly been going off with false alarms. It's not making any noise right now, but it's still flashing, which is a little annoying. Fourth false alarm. All right, all in all, four false alarms for the Whistler Z11. Well, we're gonna give it five, because one just appeared right here at the light. Now time to move on to the unit in. Starting the test with the unit in off strong, picking up a KA band from behind me. Well, look at that guys, zero false alarms for the unit in. Time to try out the Max 360. Final test in the city of false alarms with the Max 360. Look at that, nice Alpina B7 in front of us. Zero false alarms for the Escort. Well, there you guys have it. In the first performance test, the Uniden won, both via price and its accuracy, precision, and distance. In the second test, both the Uniden and the Passport Max 360 had zero false alarms over its city test, whereas the cheap radar had five false alarms. In conclusion, the $50 radar detector does actually work. It detected a radar signal soon enough for you to actually slow down and avoid a ticket. If you can get used to it going off a decent amount, I mean, it pretty much went off every 30 seconds or so on the drive, then honestly, it could be worth it for $51. But if you want to spend a little bit more money, the $425 Uniden R7 is the clear winner in this test. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Like always, please browse the channel and subscribe. I look forward to seeing you next video.